right, I'm going to start off by getting the important stuff out of the way. Uh, me and Mr. Fields are not twins. <laughs> we just look a lot alike right now. That's what it, we 3D printed these too. <laughs> Uh, but on a serious note, th this was a wonderful opportunity for our students. They had, they had many wonderful opportunities to learn during this process. Um, uh, overview my students, and I know I make a better door than a window, but uh, my students uh, basically used CAD software, computer-aided design or computer-aided drafting. Uh, we, we used Tinkercad, we used a little Autodesk. Uh, they had the opportunity to learn a lot about, you know, this drafting process and 3D modeling. Um, and then they got to go through the process of actually creating the objects. Um, and I thought they got a little bit more out of having a tangible object when they got done with the project than just a everyday run-of-the-mill project where, where there was nothing that was usable. It's just something to show. But, but in this project, they actually had a functional object that they could provide someone a service with. Um, the design process, students designed their own ocarinas using CAD software. There were a whole lot of just wonderful designs out there. Um, we actually printed off a couple different designs, several designs to play around with and see which one sounded the best and uh, looked the best. And uh, here's some pictures of those. Um, those are just screenshots of the picture. That's why it's so dirty. <laughs> but. Uh, uh, these are their screens of, of, of their objects where, where they actually use that CAD software and design some of these instruments. Uh, some of them had different designs. We, um, they looked, you know, I, I provide them with some basic information about about making the sound produce out of the objects and stuff, but they, they did their own research and, and, and found out different designs that they could try to create. Some of them were one-piece designs, some were two-piece designs that we had to 3D print and then glue together. Here's some more examples. Um, and like I was saying, after they went through the design process, actually creating the objects on the, the computers, uh, we are fortunate enough, we have two 3D printers at school. And part of this grant bought the filament to actually produce all these objects. Uh, uh, students got a learning opportunity right there to use the 3D printers and see how that process goes. Uh, we actually had a little bit of filament left over and we, we printed off a flute tip for one of the flutes. Uh, that was pretty neat. Here's some more pictures. There's the money shot right there. But uh, we had a lot of fun with it. Uh, here's just some pictures of, uh, of one design that, that was, as it was going through the 3D printer, you, you can see how um, it, it was an object inside of an object to help produce the sound and all that, and students had to design all that, uh, which, which took quite a bit of thought and effort. All right, I'm going to pass it off to Mr. Fields. Sweet. Hello. Well, hello. Thanks for coming in and watching us. Uh, it was a lot of it was a lot of fun. It was for the kids. Uh, we wanted to give them an opportunity to play. Um, I have a general music class, and it was the first year I've had a high school general music, and it was kind of what do you want to do? Well, let's let's make instruments and then we get to learn them and play them and perform on them and so he handled the making them and then we made them and then I had to handle trying to play them but I mean they're they're okay you know uh, it produces a sound I don't know if it's a very good sound but it was it was a lot of fun and I mean it was it was a fun game for the kids and um, kind of working there's a fingering chart I want to try to get to a couple more pictures group ensemble more side view, just working through the songs here. Uh, but here's like the fingering chart. So it's, there's four holes, and they're different sized holes. And depending on which ones you push down, produces a different sound. The, the vibrations are different, right? Um, and so we would just kind of, we have music. There's notes written on the page, and above the note, like a fingering chart, are the pictures. So you can just sit there and follow your pictures as you play, uh, which was fine. I mean, we did little simple uh, folk songs. Uh, Twinkle, twinkle, little star, uh, the, that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, pff, it was fun. We had we made a class set of fifteen. How long did it take to make one? To print a whole thirty minutes. Okay, so we made fifteen 
couple of days. Our, our friend Jacob Bentley over there was churning them out. Um, but it was, uh, it was fun. I'll, I'm going to perform a lovely rendition for you so you can hear. Yeah, it's going to be great. <clears throat> Wait for it. Go, you gotta, I'm not hearing it right. I broke it. <laughs> it was working five minutes ago. It's a controlled blow, right? You have to have the right amount of air. up for questions. Anybody? Yes. No, I can't. That's a, it's an, no. so, so there's, there's only 12. It's an octave. And so it has to be within that, that range. You can move some stuff around. But um, it was a lot of fun. And some things like this little guy where it's half a half a hole and it's like a, a tiny little how are you gonna you know you got your big high school finger and it's uh, but we we tried it was a lot of fun it was just simple simple stuff but it was it was good experience for the kids they liked it we had fun that's what it's about right awesome thank you so much we have any